infrastructure, especially in our larger city, Auckland, is shaping up to be an election issue. Housing roads power, but an often forgotten one is water supply and waste water removal. The average Auckland household produces 675 litres of wastewater every day. Watercare in Auckland is spending around half a billion dollars a year on new projects at the moment, and some of them are quite novel. On the North Shore, it's building a massive underground tank to hold excess wastewater. Zach Fleming was given exclusive access with our cameraman Bradley White. It's essentially a giant underground sewerage tank, which is ironically being built in an old landfill in Takapuna. But it will have a big impact because... It reduces the amount of overflows. Which means... It can make the waterways cleaner. Soon there will be, fingers crossed at least, no more wastewater runoffs at beaches around the southern end of the North Shore. Takapuna, Devonport, Northcote. Everything about it's big. The price tag, $30 million. The time frame, a year and a half to build. The size. The entire tank's been built underground, more than 10 metres underground, but it's still huge, bigger than an Olympic-sized swimming pool. Despite that, though, when it's finished, driving past, you will have absolutely no idea it's here. Watercare's project engineer, Ken Lucas, says the tank replaces a smaller one that was built nearby in the 60s. Uh, it's probably sixfold uh, greater, so you've got 520,000 litres in the old one. This is three and a half million. So we've got three and a half million litres of essentially poo, shower... Then. Absolutely, yes, yes, yes we have, yeah. Cool. There's uh, roughly about uh, 3,100 uh, cubic metres of concrete that's gone into this. Uh, within the structure there's probably about 540 tonnes of steel. So when there's more wastewater than the system can cope with, the extra will divert to the tank. And the tank will then be drained back into the system once everything goes back to normal. The pumps can drain it in just two hours. But it's only built with 50 years resiliency. I asked Watercare's GM of infrastructure, Steve Webster, if that's enough. You can always spend more up front, but that's fundamentally that's not a, that's not a cost-effective way of delivering infrastructure for a city like Auckland. We wouldn't be able to afford it. But if you had more money, you would like to potentially build, you know, 100 years out, 150 years out? No, no, we wouldn't. No, because we, that wouldn't be the right solution for the city. You know, for an asset management sense, that's that's not the the correct solution for the city. Um, you know, we you you need to you need to build when you require it, as opposed to building everything at once. Watercare's set aside nearly five billion dollars over the next decade for new infrastructure. Mr. Webster says it's determined not to be the bottleneck that stops Auckland growing. We're building one in Glenedon now. We um, Koe Koe Marama. We built one just recently. We have um, some other large water storage tanks that we're building right now as well. But for things like this tank, where technically it's not essential, could better planning mean we'd have started building these earlier? And would our beaches therefore be cleaner? As the city grows, as the city, um, you know, the density um, incre imp increases in the city, we, you know, that, that, that brings with it issues and, and problems that we have to resolve. So no, um, doing this 15 years ago wouldn't have made any difference. So we're at a point now that we need to build it to, a, to, a, to reduce the wet weather overflows. He says there are around 150 projects currently being built across Auckland. Once the tank's complete, it'll be monitored and controlled remotely from Watercare's head office 10 kilometres away in Remuera. For Checkpoint, Zach Fleming.